Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with today's load prompt. This is day four of load, and the prompt is based on um, some kind of hobby that you might have, a collection you have, um, something that you do that might not be considered particularly exciting to others, and we're to use a grid design. So when they say grid, I reach for scraps, and I pulled out my handy scrap bag here, and I pulled these, I cut them all into two and a half inch squares, and I kind of uh, curled the edges so that there would be some dimension without foam, because that would be a lot of foam, although I've done that. And um, I just kind of mixed up, actually this is pretty much how I, um, I found them. I don't think I'd rearranged much. I knew that my title was gonna be partly here and partly here. So I made these kind of plain so that my alphas would show on them. And then the rest is kind of, you know, as it is. My mixed media this time is a gel print that I did um, using a, a stencil and some uh, yellow and bright green paint, which kind of I, I had hoped would blend into the yellow green uh, more. And you can kind of see a fingerprint uh, on, <laughs> on the, the gel print. But I, I just cut a, a two and a half by two and a half piece of that. So that's my mixed media. This is the alpha I'm going to use. And I'm going to put this back into the scrap box. And I'm going to do my title first. And as I'm doing my title, I'll reveal to you what, what it is that I'm, I'm documenting. I collect kind of a couple of things. I, all my life I've collected turtles. When I was a kid, I collected live turtles. And I had them in a bathtub, an old um, clawfoot bathtub that my grandparents pulled out of their house, uh, which was right next door, and they were gonna get rid of it, and my dad didn't want them to, so he pulled it over to our house, and. Our house was kind of built in a couple of different wings because there was a, a kludgy add-on um, later. And right outside my bedroom window was this kind of little enclosure area. So we put the tub in there and I, I rigged up rocks that they could, you know, stand. It was, they got plenty of sun. And of course I pulled them out and let them run around in the yard and so forth. And I, every time we go out for a ride along the bayous or ditches after a rain, I knew I'd find some turtles and we found them. Our, my grandmother's housekeeper next door, um, liked making turtle soup. So I had to kind of uh, realize that every once in a while she was gonna uh, come get one of the ones that that was good for soup. So sometimes I lost my pets to the soup pot. But anyway, I continued collecting turtles, but now it's, um, it's, it's wooden carved turtles or metal and stone turtles or uh, in this case there was a turtle that showed up in the yard and Ava named it uh, Lucky Cheese and this I this is a scrapbook page I made documenting um, turning Luc Lucky Cheese back into uh, into his home and there she is playing with him and these are some recent turtles. All the turtles have a story. That's Lucky Cheese right there. Uh, this is one we got in, in Florence. At a, it's a ceramic. And these are smaller ones that I have displayed. And I, I noticed when I took the photo that there's um, uh, a couple of penguins, a, a penguin family that snuck in there. I bet John put that in there. And this is a, um, a sandstone turtle that was kind of carved and, and um, it, 
the stories are about where they came from and the people who gave them to me and um, all of the memories associated with whatever that was. There's some new, the kids collect them for me. So when they go on trips, they find them. So I've got turtles coming out of my ears. So anyway, let's see how we're going to do this. I want this one to be looking up and it's kind of colorful. So I'll do that. Um, that one might be good there. I kind of want this. To stand out. I think that's a good background for it. Um, these are bright and colorful, so that stripe would be good. This is a turtle that I painted. I, I want to say painted. It's a canvas, and I used stencils and texture paste, and I have a turtle stencil. I laid it down and outlined it, and then colored the lime green underneath and then I laid the stencil over and ran a really dark texture paste through it to give that coloration. And then I did all of these, um, uh, these are, or that's a sunshine stencil. It's a, a rectangular, um, I can't put it there because that's where, I, there, I'll put them on the beach paper, but I I love that. There was a, a, I did it after a class I took where I had done a butterfly using a similar technique. And the class was by Jen Starr, who is an absolutely fabulous artist. And she used to come to town. She's a Jersey girl. And she used to come to town, to Georgia, to do classes because she had a good friend who lived here. And I'm going to put the real turtle maybe right there. I'm not going to put anything there. I think I'm, I'm going to journal on this one. So I'll put that guy right there. This may be there because it's not as colorful. And I'm going to go ahead, I guess, and cover this up. And... I've got these. Let's do the title and we'll see where the embellishments can go. Uh, I looked up on Google and a group of turtles is known as a bale. So my title is gonna be A Bale of Turtles. I'm gonna do it kind of in the center and that's on paint, so it's and I'm going to kind of let it cross over there and that's good. a bale, and then I can, I've got some small embellishments that I can add up there. And I'm gonna go with uh, These are some alphas that Adam sent me, and I just love them, but I I haven't had a, a, I haven't used a lot of them. Let me just say, I haven't uh, had a, this is one of those all colors are game, all themes are game, all images are game. So I haven't had one of those in a while. Uh, let's see, turtles. I'm gonna put the, I want the S to end up right here. So I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna use this purple one. And an L that goes across maybe. Uh, 
hope I have another T because I don't want to put the same pattern there. R and U. And my T. And the reason I wanted that to go there is I was going to do one of these little vases here. And I guess that would be okay. And the bird could go there. I'm just going to kind of do that. I'll let it cross there. And I'll do that right there. And I'm going to go up here and I've got another little flower pot that can go there and I have this turtle you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put this here and I'm gonna put this right here And I am going to use, well, no. I, I, I'm gonna do the same thing with the photos that I did with the squares. These two turtles are ones that have been, um, that I've acquired recently. The kids brought me this one. And this one I picked up on my cruise with Adam last summer. I, it came from one of our stops in Spain. This one was given to me by a good friend who I used to go to meetings with we went to the same we had the same job and in, in different companies and we both bought data from the same company and okay. we he he brought it to me at one of the meetings one of the meetings that we had was close to my birthday or on my birthday he took up a little collection and he lived in uh, Colorado and he bought it from one of the uh, Native American um, groups that handmade things. And this one came. from New Mexico. We had a, the same meetings that I went to with that guy. Um, I want to use this guy, but I'm not sure where. Maybe too big. And then I want to use this guy. I thought I was going to use this guy. Um, Let's see, what can we do here? I don't want to put it over, you know, busy floral like that. So, maybe I'll put this right there. I want to have some of that lime green up on this level anyway. And I guess I've glued all the lime greens down and he wouldn't look too bad 
You know what I think I may do is uh, type out my journaling on a white piece of paper and I'll go ahead and use that right there along with, I'll make a little cluster on here. Let's see. Maybe. I'll put that under there. And this kind of right there. And I'll use this maybe here, or how about that's kind of similarly colored. I have some flare as well. How about this turtle being up here and his leg will be sticking up in the page protector just a fraction of an inch there and where can i put this um i don't like that there how about we do this And this can kind of go under and kind of overlap over here onto this page. I don't know that I'm gonna have an appropriate place for the flare. Um, and that's okay. I guess I could have this guy on top of that one. This needs to be a lot flatter. I put it on the really thick foam. That works. Um, let's see if I have anything else that I could embellish with. Let's pull this guy out and I'm thinking that, you know, hearts and stars aren't necessarily what I'm looking for. I have some kind of beachy-ish looking elements. And some florals. Let's see what we come up with here. Um, I need whatever I need, whatever I um, use, it needs to be small. Not seeing, let's see, if I do anything, I, it could go here because I've got some blank space there and it could overlap. So, I kind of like the sunglasses. not 
sticking down well. Um, I wonder if I could do that right there and some sunglasses right let's move it down and then put the sunglasses kind of like that not the most appropriate um embellishments but it just gives a little bit of color kind of down here. I'm just going to go ahead and not going to do any. And I'll kind of slide it under the photo there so it doesn't. Let's look in the flowers again and see. There's some. Um, seeing anything that just needs to want to go on this page. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and I'm pretty wide open as far as um, things that work on pages. So I'm going to color, I guess I ought to glue these down, right? Um, and I'll think about what I might want to use. I have a little wooden butterfly here. That might not be bad. Someplace like here, maybe. This little turtle right there is, um, is a, a turtle dressed in uh, tennis shoes and with a, a sweat band, a headband, you know, but like back in the 80s. And it was back in the 80s when John's mother got me that for my birthday. And it was, she had been to visit and had seen us dressed for our uh gym visits <laughs> and she she thought it was funny that I was wearing a an Olivia Newton John let's get physical headband <laughs> so, but I was and why not if showing off your cute headband got you to the gym what was wrong with that? Not sure what, okay, so that is a cluster. Too big. Um, there's a bug here. I, I guess I'm okay. There's enough color and enough pattern showing, you know, right behind the color. I'm just gonna kinda Shove this off to the side, and I've lost my pen again, but I will pull another one and close it up. So let me see. I think everything is is nailed down. I, like I said, I will do that journaling and. I'm gonna call it finished. Let's see, do I have, this card might be about the right size. Is that a s silly place to use that flare? I, I wanna use it because this is kind of about me and things I love and I love turtles and I love purple. And the background paper 
has a lot of purple. It wasn't a pattern that I particularly thought I was going to be able to use, but with all of this uh, color and pattern and excitement on top of it, I like it just fine. So I'm going to write my journaling on here and I'm going to put it right across there, even though it's not square. And the fact that it's not square actually, well, this might actually work better. And then I could still do that right there. Okay. I'm going to do that then. I don't think I will use this side. Um, not a fan of that tomato soup red, although I have occasionally used it. So thank you for watching. <laughs> I'll stop rambling. Bye.